Himalayan Mega Dam, the most ambitious dam project ever. Hey, you ever wake up and think, man, I really want to control half the world's water supply today. No? Well, China's got you covered. They're planning the most insane dam project you've never heard of, right in the heart of Tibet. It's not just big, it's mega. We're talking about a hydroelectric beast that could power the entire UK for a year. But here's the most surprising thing. It might just reshape Asia's future. Intrigued? Let's dive in. The Yarlung Tsangpo, nature's playground. There's a river called the Yarlung Tsangpo, the Everest of rivers, literally the highest major river in the world. But the coolest part? It drops over 2,000 meters in just 100 kilometers. China sees this as a jackpot, planning a $100 billion mega dam here. Oh, and the gorge it flows through? Three times deeper than the Grand Canyon. Building here is like constructing a sandcastle in a hurricane. Why here? It's the Great Bend, curving around the 7.7 kilometers tall Namchabarwa Mountain. This area is so remote that until 2013, there wasn't even a year-round road. Oh, and scientists are still discovering new species here. Mother Nature's secret stash, about to be opened by China. The geopolitical water cooler. Here's where things get spicy. This river doesn't just stay in China. It flows into India as the Brahmaputra, then into Bangladesh. Millions of people depend on it. So China's dam plan has India and Bangladesh sweating bullets. It's like China's holding the world's biggest water gun, and everyone downstream is hoping they don't pull the trigger. But India's not just watching. They've got their own dam plans. It's like a game of hydraulic chess. Controlling water here is power, plain and simple. And with climate change making water scarcer, this dam could be China's ace in the hole. But it's not just about water. This dam could generate 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year, three times what the Three Gorges Dam, currently the world's largest, can produce. A real power move. Environmental Russian Roulette. Now you might be thinking, clean energy? That's good, right? Well, slow down, eco-warrior. This dam could mess up local ecosystems faster than a bull in a China shop. Fish populations, river flows, everything could be disrupted. Plus, we're looking at a potential ticking water bomb. And let's talk earthquakes. This region is more unstable than your ex's mood swings. One big shake, and it could be a disaster movie come to life. In 1950, an 8.6 magnitude quake hit the area, so strong that water disturbances were felt in Norway. Not just earthquakes, but landslides are common too. In 2021, a glacier blocked the river, visible from space. If that happens after the dam is built, we're talking about a man-made tsunami. Oh, and did I mention this river is sacred to Tibetans? They believe it embodies a goddess. China's basically giving a deity a concrete makeover. The local ethnic groups, including Tibetans and the Lopa, have deep cultural connections to this river. It's not just water to them, it's life, culture, and spirituality. But progress waits for no one, not even goddesses. Hold on to your hard hats. China's not backing down. They plan to bore a 50-kilometer tunnel through a mountain, longer than your last relationship. And at the end, nine separate hydroelectric facilities. It's like they're playing SimCity, but with real consequences. The plan, use a run-of-the-river system. Instead of creating a massive reservoir, they'll redirect the water through the tunnel and let gravity do the work. It's like creating a water slide for electricity. Fun for engineers, but not so fun for the ecosystem. And get this, they plan to move 2,000 cubic meters of water per second through this tunnel. That's like flushing all the toilets in New York City every second, all day, every day. Talk about a power flush. But here's the million dollar question. Can they pull it off? It's like trying to perform brain surgery while skydiving. Possible maybe, but risky. Now let's talk about the downstream. For India and Bangladesh, this dam is like having a neighbor reroute the street's water main through their swimming pool. Sure, they say you'll still get water, but can you trust them? Farmers in these countries rely on the river's natural flow. And it's not just about water, it's the sediment that makes their lands fertile. With the dam, that all-natural fertilizer delivery system could get disrupted. It's like ordering a pizza and getting just the crust. 
not what you were hoping for. Plus, the Brahmaputra Delta is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. Mess with the river and you're playing with millions of lives. No pressure, China. So what do you think? Is China about to pull off the engineering feat of the century? Or are they diving headfirst into a geopolitical nightmare? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if all this talk of water control has you feeling parched, grab a drink. Be thankful you don't have to negotiate with your neighbor every time you turn on the tap. That's all for now, water warriors. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world's craziest damn project, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.